everyone, Sarah here, and I am using the September Take Me Home kit from Mercy Tier Kits today, and I am scrap lifting Aura Lee. She is a, another creator on the design team. She makes beautiful layouts. You'd see that one in the very beginning there that I showed you, and that is what I am scrap lifting today. So I chose the picture of my daughter that I wanted. It is in a different, she's facing to the right where in Oralee's layout, uh, the picture is actually on the right-hand side facing the left. Um, and so I kind of swapped it. Um, and I wanted to play a little bit more with these uh, fancy pants papers. So I went ahead and used that one right there uh, for my strip like hers on her layout. I love those colors. They're beautiful. They're not bright but they're still colorful and they kind of look fallish and I really like them. And then they work really well with the Enchanted Gardens paper right there that I'm using to back my photo. I like that golden yellow greeny color. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call that, to be honest. Um, so what am I doing now? Okay, so I am trying right here. I am using the Simple Stories paper and I cut out those little tags because I thought maybe I could use some of them as some of the little layers in on the layout oh, that uh, I'm scrap lifting. And you uh, you probably think I'm crazy, but here um, I am going to find the tags first. I forgot about that. And then, yeah, in Oralee's layout, she had uh, little scallops around the side. And I thought these little stickers would be perfect for that. So I use one on each side and I trim them down so that, that uh, they fit the photo. And here I'll do the other one as well. And yeah, that's um, that's just something I do. I I know I have tools that'll, you know, take the sticky off the back of stuff. But I still tend to use the side of my arm. And you'll see that again here in just a minute. Um, I'm going to play with that tag there and move things around a little bit. And add another one. I'll play with a couple other pieces and try to stuff them in, but I don't like the way they look. Um, and so I stick another tag in. I know that's not just like her layout, but I decided that's what I wanted to do. Um, and here you see me pulling all these stickers off and just going ahead and sticking them to my arm. And I do that and I'll lift them up and put them down a couple times and then sit them down um, on my table until I decide to use them. And sometimes they'll stay there for a while. I'll be done scrapbooking and go to lay down in bed or something. And I still have stickers on me. Uh, not this time, though. I use, I use my stickers this time. <laughs> there I go, pulling off a couple more. And I know that I'm going to use that stamp, the stamp set from this month. I really do like it. I know that I'm going to use it a lot um, during Thanksgiving and Christmas as well. Here I had pulled uh, the Be Happy sticker off that sticker sheet. And I popped it up on... Uh, foam dots and went ahead. I haven't stuck it down yet because I know I'm going to use the stamps. And I use uh, Tattered Rose. Tattered Rose works really, really well with this collection. Um, I stamped it on some papers along with some other things and tested it, but I liked the Tattered Rose the best. And I'm using the splatters from this uh, stamp set and I'll probably use those a lot too because it's so much more controlled and you know how it's going to turn out. And I have trouble doing some of the splattering when I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But um, I went ahead and did that in a couple places. If you look at her layout um, up close, it also has where it looks like there's some little splattering or some stamps. Um, I think I did a little more than that. Um, but I'm going to start adhering some things down. Making sure my tags are going where I want them to. Because once I get all this stuck down, I can start playing with the embellishing. I'm going to rough up the edges of everything. Again, I have tools. I promise I do. <laughs> but I, I just choose to use my fingernail. It just works and I don't have to look for anything. It just, it works for me. So uh, here I go with this. And now I'm going to start. There's the title. And after that, I can go ahead and start embellishing. embellishing. Um, I cut that tag in half and stick it under. I know you can't see much of it, but it's still just enough popping out from behind it that it, it just kind of grounds it a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick part of this 
uh, pink fresh studio frame on the um, left hand side of the photo there um, she had a sticker over on hers but I went ahead and used that and now I can start layering these pretty flowers and I'm popping some up with 3d foam um, adding to the bottom I'll trim them here and there so they fit underneath since I've already stuck the other stuff down uh, the tag I had glued so I had to make sure to cut that one that stuck on top of the tag I apologize for my cat. You'll see me add some more uh, flowers over by the uh, tags. And I love, I love those moths. Those moths are so cute. I thought that they were just so pretty. So I went ahead and added those um, around the layout as well. Tucked some more flowers underneath. Um, I think I'm trying to find another spot to put this uh moth or the bee oh i used one of the bees too i use a lot of the bees one two three i used three of the bees um and then the moths and the flowers and i'm cleaning up a little bit and i think i'm pulling out yep i'm going to use the packaging from the stamps here to do uh my splatters with my uh my fine tip water uh paintbrush there so that i know that they're not going to be too big I do clean it off and I put my stamps back in it, um, but I just tend to use stuff like that. Here, I tried uh, speckled, um, the speckled egg and the lost shadow to see what I was going to like for another stamp. And I mean, I chose to use lost shadow after playing around here, making sure that the stamp I was going to use was going to work right. And I mess up. <laughs> I, I left it in here. I mess up. I stamped it upside down and ink got on the be happy. You see me <laughs> wiggling my finger at it and you see me wipe it off. Um, so now I have to find something else to cover up my boo-boo. So I went in and I uh, was messing with the farmstead, uh, I think it's farmstead harvest, um, embellishments there, that embellishment pack. And I find a couple of little ticket tabs or whatever there in the... I love those little pull apart ones. It says autumn leaves is what I went ahead and added on top of the little tag. I thought it worked perfect. I mean, this was in October of last year that this picture was taken from and it just worked perfect. Um, we had been down playing with the ducks and feeding them and going for walks and stuff because it had finally gotten cool enough to wear jeans. Um, and I think about here, I'm, I'm done off camera. I did add a uh, black outline around the side and the date stamp. But other than that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this layout. Make sure to check out Mercy Tierra Kids and you have a great day.